In Civ 2, the Carthaginian Empire had two available leaders, Hannibal and Ditto. In Civ 3 and 4, Hannibal was the only leader. Then in Civ 5, Ditto returns as the leader of Carthage, while in Civ 6, Ditto is leading a different empire, Phoenicia, while Carthage disappeared as an empire. Why? What's the difference between these two empires? What's the link between them? Who was Ditto? In order to understand why Phoenicia replaced Carthage, we'll first get to know who the Phoenicians were. The Phoenician civilization extended along the eastern Mediterranean for almost 2500 years. They were a group of peoples that shared a language and some key cultural traits that we're going to see in a minute. But despite these similarities, they were organized in city-states like several ancient civilizations did, with each of them being independent from one another. So much so that there's no evidence that the Phoenicians consider themselves a single civilization, but maybe just a region. Everything that we know of them comes from ancient Greek and Roman historians and writers. In fact, the term Phoenicia comes from the Greek word for red or crimson, probably since they were known for wearing and selling clothes of that color. Take that, Levi Strauss! Among these city-states, there were some that were more powerful or more important in the region, like Biblos, Sidon and Tyre. Pay attention to this one, as we'll talk a bit about it later. The Phoenicians had two main traits as a civilization. They were the masters of the sea. They were the wealthy masters of the sea. See, the Phoenicians were excellent traders, sailors and craftsmen, and since the rain levels of the region had dropped, decreasing the quality of the land, and also the neighboring powers had been expanding, the Phoenicians saw the opportunity in the sea. So around the 12th century BCE, they began to adventure into the sea and found the first ancient trade centers throughout the Mediterranean. Some centuries later, these early settlements evolved into actual colonies, which became the foundation of a big trade network among Phoenician city-states, as well as with other empires and civilizations, with the great Egyptian empire as the main customer. They often bought the raw materials needed to make more complex products, and then used these new crafted products to trade for something else. Among the most important goods they exported and traded with, we can find goods from Lebanese cedar, glass, and the Phoenician star, their crimson clothes. Now, do you remember the city-state that I mentioned earlier? As the centuries went by, Tyre became one of the most powerful and prosperous city-states in Phoenicia. And it's here where Ditto came from. The woman who would become known as Ditto was born in the Phoenician city-state of Tyre with the name of Elisa around the 9th century BCE. She and her brother Pygmalion were the children of the king of the time. Bellus. Pygmalion wanted to be the next king, so he cheated Elisa out of their inheritance and going even further, he killed her husband and took power in the city. Her brother was dangerous, so fearing for her life, she stole some gold from the king and decided to look for a new life to the west, into the sea, accompanied by some followers with two military commanders among them. So next time you hear about a crime, consider getting on a boat and sailing into the sea. Mm, pretty normal reaction, I guess. After leaving Tyre, she and her men stopped at Cyprus, where they picked up a local priest of the goddess Adar, and promised him that he could be the high priest of a new city. Then, they continued their journey and finally arrived on the northern African shore where, helped by the local Libyans and people from the nearby Phoenician colony of Utica, a new city was founded. This new little Phoenician colony was named like this, which I'm not even trying to pronounce. And after going through a bunch of languages like Greek and Latin, we now know it by the name of Carthage. In a short amount of time, this city became the main Phoenician trading point in the Western Mediterranean and ended up founding its own colonies. And with time, it became one of the biggest and strongest empires of the ancient world, with its own historical figures such as Hannibal Barca. But that's another story. Carthage existed for more than 500 years until another great empire, their bitter enemy, the Romans, destroyed them. So, Gigi was a Phoenician woman from the city-state of Tyre that ended up on the other side of the Mediterranean, founding what would end up being a very prosperous empire. That's why she appeared as the leader of Carthage, and that's why she's also the leader of Phoenicia. What do you think? Should she stick to Phoenicia or Carthage? Maybe she could lead both, like Kulai Khan with Mongolia and China, for instance? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching!